the gospel lost rapids are instinctually territorial. If you so much as, yeah. Hey everybody. Hi, welcome back. I'm Peter. Kitra. And this is Ordinary Adventures. Today we are at Universal Studios in Hollywood. We're hoping to see some new dinosaurs. Uh, they have this thing called Raptor Encounter. Originally you could meet Blue the Raptor, and now there has been some new dinosaurs. There's a baby! There's a baby and I think there's like a Triceratops. Yeah, so come with us. Yeah. Let's check it out. <laughs> Territorial. If you so much as, yeah. Nope, nope, no. I don't want to have to replace that watch. Yeah. If you so much as lean over those chains, you're officially in Blue's territory. So just a heads up. But yeah, you can hold it closer. There you go, there you go. You may try, you're welcome to try, but. Come in here, guys. That's another thing, too. Same, buddy, same. The sound of the people screaming on that ride, guys, very appealing to our dinosaurs, right? That triggers something in them instinctually. Uh, but yeah, so this is Tango. So cute! Oh, it looks like very, very careful, okay? Let's see. We'll see if she can. <laughs> Adult velociraptors. What does she say all day? What does she say all day? Yeah. She actually, it, that's one of the things we're trying to figure out because we have Blue who's an adult velociraptor, but we're learning how the babies are actually learning to communicate and we're trying not to influence them too much, which is why we try to interact with Blue. Would you like to step forward? Sure. All right, yeah, come over here. So, what I want you to do is just put two fingers out like that, okay? And then let's see. It's like Pixel. You seem so sleepy. Oh, you know what? I think she is starting to. Can we wake up, Tango? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, thank you. That is awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So cool. And so at this size, if you notice her looking around a lot, uh, at this size, most of her predators will come from above, okay. especially flying predators. So that's where most of the threats come, which is why we don't like to have anything up high because it really does set her off. Now, I know it's a, I know it's a puppet. I'm, I'm an adult man. What are you talking about? Is it a real man? Yeah. Is it not? Even if it isn't, it's so, it's so cool. It's so cool. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the most impressive. Oh, are you me? Like, you think the frogs in Hogsmeade are cool? That, yeah. that beats it. I know we are more Disney fans than Universal, but Universal is killing it with their character meet and greets. Like, you look at like Megatron and Optimus Prime. Uh, I love and, the Megatron meet and greet. And like the uh, Toothless character meet and greet yeah. looks incredible. The that farting troll? We have yet to meet the farting troll. This is where the dogs poop. Right there. They poop right there. Here it comes. Yeah? It's so for you guys. Aww. 
Ooh. Yeah. Can you hear it breathing? I look how her eye is like watering. Can you see that? Uh, but we're gonna take a look at some of the stuff that's in the store. What do you have here? Oh my god, Chris Pratt? Chris Pratt. I thought it was Chris Pratt, sorry. No, it's the guy from Game of Thrones. Uh, or is it Zach Galifianakis? I like how they're doing this Isa Nubler merchandise. It's cooler than just having Jurassic World. And they're promoting the hell out of the Mosasaurus edition to this ride, as they should. Uh, so if you want some socks, you can get some socks. This is like the poster for the ride, and it makes sense now that we've ridden it. Features all the new dinos from the ride. I like it. What do you have here? This is an Isla Nublar Moisasaurus Lagoon. That's actually pretty cool. It looks baggy on you. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> I mean, now you're looking a little bit like Zach Galifianakis. This is nice, right? But I do like this design. Hey, hey, hey! Eyes up here. Eyes up here. I actually really like this tank top. Not real Exclusive. Part. Section B. It's kind of like, you know, it's, instead of saying grand opening, it's saying inaugural park guest. The question is, do we need a shot glass that has a raptor around it? Jeff, I think you're going to want this. What do we got here? Oh, Mr. Hammond, sir. <laughs> what did you find here? I like how simple this is, that it doesn't say, like, the ride, it doesn't say Universal Studios on it. It almost seems like something you'd buy from, like, one of those, like, streetwear companies that yeah, you love. I would buy it because it's awesome. Do you want the... Jurassic Park Trilogy on DVD. You can buy them here, and they're only $19.95 each. What a bargain. Raptor Ranger. I don't remember seeing Chris Pratt in this. Raptor Ranger reporting for duty, sir. I actually like this t-shirt. It's kind of, it feels like a copy of the Ollie Moss Star Wars, but it's kind of cool. The bags are pretty sweet. And it actually is ripped. That's nice. Look at this. A gyrosphere RC controlled. I want to get this and then terrorize our dogs with this. I think that would be fun. Then the droid. Are you gonna get it? That doesn't even look like it was made for Jurassic Park. Oh, maybe it is. The camo merchandise is really popular right now. You can even get one for your little one. If you ever wanted a Jurassic Park safety helmet, only 15 bucks. Lights up. I've always been disappointed by some of the collectible stuff here because they always have like just dinosaur skeletons, like generic stuff, but it looks like they've actually added some actual Jurassic Park collectibles here. Here's the six Triceratops. You can buy it for just $600. If you want Malcolm or Grant, you can get them for $180 each. Baby Raptors on sale for $850. Guys, look at this bronze T-Rex. That is awesome. You know but I'm, I'm not sure if it's worth $475. You know what I've always wanted? I've what? wanted a raptor egg, but I wanted the one with like the raptor coming out of it. Yeah. Well, this one doesn't even have the, uh, the barcode on it. So that means it's actually, oh, it is from Jurassic Park, and it's $215. Yeah, I don't love it. What about this uh, Jurassic Park Gates with the car sculpture? I actually don't think it looks that detailed. It looks kind of cheap, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Lophosaurus attack bus for 200 or if you just want the normal looking one, 160 If you're looking for actual Jurassic World merchandise, there's Owen in blue for $545. And of course, you can get the Indominus for 125 and the T-Rex in blue statue for 225 If you want Owen and Claire Barbies, if that's your thing, you can get them right here. Who decided that that looks like Chris Pratt? Owen? Owen? A 
apparently the Mattel Corporation. <laughs> I disagree, Mattel. But as a big fan of the series, like the only thing that I didn't want out of this case is I think this microscope and these beaker down here that say engine on it is pretty awesome. And I don't know why they don't sell stuff like that. Like why is it in here if they're not gonna sell stuff like that? It's just like flavor. Yeah. But I would totally buy some like engine corporation stuff yeah. if they had in my collection. Well they do that at Disney too. Like whenever you see stuff on the top shelf, that's always the stuff I want. And I feel like if you made engine t-shirts and so like that, I know you can buy that stuff online, but oh my god, my hair is all over the phone. Why didn't you tell me? This is the annual pass holder pin. $13, the gates open. There. They have a T-Rex one-fifth scale bust. Could be yours for $950. And this is actually something I really want. Kendra, yeah, put this on my Christmas list right here. Uh, Do we get our it, annual pass discount? I don't know. T-Rex, it's a one-tenth scale statue. Twelve seventy-five. dollars Look at how cool that is. I feel like the, the video doesn't do it justice. I kind of like this beat-up hat. How it's like ripped and worn. I just wish it said Isla Nublar. I wish it said Isla Nublar instead of Universal Studios. But it's just not... What's going on? What? A a anything up? No. Just commenting on the hat. <laughs> okay then. Oh. <laughs> okay. So we saw some new dinosaurs today. I think my favorite is Pango the Beaver Raptor. Same. Same. Yeah. The Triceratops cool in the ra the new raptor blue. I think they had him in Orlando for a while, but it, it's better than the raptor that we used to have here. We so didn't have the same one. We had one that had like a collar around his neck, and it didn't look as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're this right. one looks yeah. better. It looks more like a real raptor. I say these are definitely like A plus jobs on all of them. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Yes, if you like this video, if you want to see more of our adventures to theme parks and movies and magic and more, please hit subscribe below. If you like this video, what should they do? Give us a thumbs up. And you know what? Let us know in the comments what other things at Universal would you be interested in seeing. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next adventure.